Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Fiat or Alfa Romeo guys. Could be any uh, any uh, car, any engine, diesel or gasoline. You feel vibrations guys in the car. Uh, uh, you feel it at certain RPMs, accelerating or even standing still. Sometimes you can feel the car vibrating, dash vibrating. Stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that guys. Uh, and if you don't fix it on time, it can cause more damage. That can cost you thousands of dollars to fix. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos. And uh, if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tool supplies from and you can save a ton of money guys. So with that being said, what can easily cause vibrations? Number one thing, Fiat, Alfa Romeo, practically, you know, they're the same company guys. I mean, they share their components, they're built the same way that 1.4 engine has been used on multiple Fiat and Alfa Romeo cars. Even if you have a diesel gasoline engine, check the uh, computer make sure the check engine light okay the check engine light is not on if it's on it could mean something such as bad spark work ignition code bad um, let's say bad fuel injector bad variable timing solenoid uh, anything that can actually cause the engine to run rough okay the engine light will be on and that's why it may be vibrating rough running engine will be vibrating guys number two uh, you need to check vacuum leaks. Sometimes vacuum leaks can uh, take a little bit of time to set a code and turn the engine light on, but vacuum leaks are some extra air the engine is getting, but it doesn't know about that air as a result. You may end up having a lean fuel mixture, having more air, less fuel, unstable vehicle operation that can cause vibrations. Number three, guys, this is the most common one that we see here, will be bad passenger side engine mount. The engine mount practically uh, keeps the engine fixed on the passenger side to the body. You have that rubber component right here and uh, that rubber actually eliminates the vibrations from the engine being transferred to the body. Often that rubber will harden, will get uh, hard or it will crack. Uh, usually you can even see cracks and as a result those cracks guys will uh, transfer vibrations to the uh, body and you will start feeling them. So bad engine mount is the number one thing that uh, uh, that we see for vibrations. Now we have another engine mount like that, which is located on the uh, driver's side. That's known as a transmission mount. It will be under the battery here. And usually your engine will consist of one more mount, which is known as the torque strut mount, but often it will not cause vibrations. It could, but not so much. More like it can cause clunking, banging noise when shifting gears, okay? And I'm talking about this mount right here, guys. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.